sing this song. Nigga, this is my life. Come on. You wanna know how we made it? Hard hustling, nigga. Got it's hard motherfucking work. Everything was hard earned. Nothing was free. Tell you the real deal, nigga. Whoever said life was a bitch and then you die, could look up straight in the eyes so you never lie. We spent so many days, so many nights, sitting in the SUV, how the cold outside, uncomfortable, but we still stayed on the grind. But in the back of my mind, I know as soon as we make it, I got a bunch of motherfuckers ready to start hating it. I guess it kind of comes with the territory before the fame and the glory. I started the story in 1998. The year I graduated will be the same year that I recorded my first tape. My pops and my uncles played live the family trade. My pop special K bought me an NPC. My uncle DD showed me how to work the Mackie. I unwired it, rewired it a different way. The nigga was happy, looked me in the eyes, and he said, Pretty two tone was my name. 2000 was the year Slick put the basketball behind him. We started pressing up albums and started grinding. We thought major labels would bring the pen and start signing. Lady Luck never looked at us, so we kept on grinding. We saw nigga after nigga with co venture deals. 2002, we redeveloped our skills. I resharpened my pencil. We refocused our ears. We found it all. Star Entertainment kicked it in the high gear. One year, we sold 10,000 albums hand to hand out of the trunk with no advertisement. But every dollar that we made overhead was climbing day by day can't afford to make mistakes nothing getting no easier gotta get this pain Man, it was an interesting year. Child met an investor, nigga. The future was clear. Walk the 961 like nigga, we here. We got the IE spotlight like the rest of them niggas. We picked a couple DJs' brains. He said it was quicker to get airplay if you do a song with another nigga whose name is bigger. Around that time, Bobby Valentino was that nigga. We was feeling the style, his name was a little bit bigger. So we broke 10 G's to him. Poom said he need 800 more for expenses. K gave it to him. Then he called me out the blue for an extra two. He'll get us ready to play after a couple of days. The nigga kept flaking. We got impatient. Called the radio station. Had Dale Kirk's dance. A1 never got our records. Paul, you didn't misplace him. Can't believe that nigga. Sat right in that motherfucker's house. Told him we don't play with money like that. Motherfucker must have lost his mind. I ain't gonna do him over a couple of G's though I'ma get him on the next level Cause we hustlers nigga We gon' get there no matter what So when I say all star motherfucker I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart So I'ma say it for you one time All star motherfucker Thank you.